What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks. We are at the mall today, trying to figure out if we can pick something good up. Um, and man, things are sitting, so I'm looking forward to see what's in here because I'm buying. I'm still buying during this time, so let's see what's at this mall. Hopefully some good stuff, and then we'll keep this day moving. Let's go. Let's check out what's in this house of hoops. See if anything good in here. So now looking at the fives, these lows are not even bad. These are actually pretty decent. Got here, stage hazes. Man, these looks like you're gonna sit for a while. Got these, mids. Look like mids, man, since there's not resale on them. People not grabbing these mids like before. But here, here. Got some stuff. So y'all, as you can see, man, those Jordan mids are not holding the weight like they were before. They had like five, six mids just sitting there. So again, times are changing, but you just gotta be productive with what you're buying now. That's the main thing. Gotta be productive with what you're buying. So let's see what else. There's like 10 different shoe stores here. So we're gonna see what else we can pick up and then we're gonna keep this thing moving. Let's go. The locker these here so so looking at these got here here now going to JD See what here off the rip, same shoes. These aren't bad. These right here, like a Cardinal Jordan Low, not bad. Hey, how you doing? Got these mids, man. We're gonna talk about these mids, man. People are not buying mids like they used to. So I ended up grabbing another pair of the Jordan 1 Stage Hazes in the big size, the size 12. So here's my two things. I also grabbed a Jordan 13 Del Sol, so I needed that shoe as well. So, uh, man, those mids are sitting, man. We're in a different time right now where mids are not selling out like they were before. So let's keep this thing moving and keep it rolling. So y'all, man, as you saw, man, Jordan mids are sitting. Uh, COVID showed, man. You saw how mids were doing during COVID. Now it's like it's harder to sell them. It is hard to sell them. So now is a time in the resale game in the market where you gotta be very particular with what you buy. Because at the end of the day, people are not buying as many sneakers. Yes, sneaker resale is not dead, but you gotta be very strategic. There's not as many buyers as there were before during COVID. But at the end of the day, man, there's still money to be made, you know, here. There's still money to be made with sneakers. And, you know, I'm grabbing, you know, a few more shoes. I head to a next spot and I'm grabbing a shoe that I feel like is a shoe that is an easy hold and it's a shoe that I feel like is super dope. I'm gonna grab a personal pair. So now we're gonna head to the next spot. We'll talk about, you know, more about the sneaker, you know, game, what's going on when we get back to the crib. But, you know, let's get things moving. Let's go. Let's get it. Got him. Look. So y'all, now heading to the next spot. About to go to one more spot. About to hit this champs. See what's there. 
and you just never know man sometimes you have to just put the full work in and check the malls but you know it's a weekday nobody's really out i'm about to check this mall so y'all at the next spot about to browse real quick try to find some good shoes but those jordan one coral lows those things are so fire man those are fire man in my opinion if you want to invest in a shoe that's the type of shoe you want to invest in because it's very low capital very low capital and the shoe is just fire you got the black toe colorway you have like that pinkish suede like that salmon suede and man those things are fire i'm keeping it for a personal pair and you know again for me to keep a shoe for a personal pair i gotta really like it so i'm about to you know keep those put those i'll probably use those as a daily shoe but overall man you know i'm pretty happy with what i got today about to check this champs real quick to see what else i can pick up and then we're gonna keep this thing rolling let's go champs so looking and they still got these and these resell too so i'm gonna see if i get a size of these people comment on my last videos like sniper what are you doing these actually you know resell for some money but you got these here still sitting got all these still sitting so going to see what size they got in these and then keep this thing moving bro all these so grabbing these right here definitely a dope shoe i think it's going for like 250 in the resale market so you know it's not bad they actually been sitting here for a little bit so you know grabbing these and then see what else is upstairs y'all now i'm about to check here they still got the stage hazes here they still got a lot of stuff sitting so let me show you what they got got these man i'm taking i'm grabbing another one of these we got to still size run here they're sitting everywhere so about to grab these and keep it moving people are still sleeping on these man i'm keeping one for a personal pair too this is easy a personal for me so let's keep it moving so y'all man picked up some more stage hazes on top of that, I also picked up the DIY Jordan 4s. It was funny because in my last video, people were like, Sniper, why did you not pick those up? Because they resell, you know, like a hundred bucks over retail price. And I had to scrap them. So I uh, picked those up and, you know, stage hazes, man. People are still sleeping on them. So I'm gonna keep grabbing them. And overall, man, I'm pretty satisfied with today, man. Got some good shoes, got some shoes I can make money on and got some personal pairs as well. So, you know, we're going to, you know, go back to the crib. We'll talk about the shoes that I picked up and then we'll keep it moving. So let's go. So back at the crib, man, as you guys saw, man, at the malls, ton of Jordan sitting, ton of Jordan sitting. You already know it's reminding me of 2017 when Jordans were not selling out like that. Yes, Jordans are selling out but it's not to the extent of when it was COVID where everything was selling out. And let's talk about Jordan mids, man. Jordan mids are not like what Jordan mids were before. Jordan mids were flying out the you know stores. Like people were buying Jordan mids like crazy. And you saw like it was mids galore. Like there were so many mids sitting. So now is the time to be very strategic on what you're buying. Don't buy everything. Do not buy everything. I feel like mids are going to suffer in this time with the sneaker recession. So guys, you know, you saw in the video, man, a lot of mids were sitting. Of course, retros were sitting too. A lot of shoes were sitting, but I found some gems today, man. And this shoe right here, man, I'm super, super, and I got a personal pair, man, super, man. These shoes are so clean, man. Bruh, this reminds me of like the rust pink Jordan highs that go for thousands of dollars. I forgot there was like the rust piece in the igloo. I put some pictures there, but this reminds me of that, but in a low version. And this shoe right here is so clean, man. You got like that salmon colorway, man. These are super dope. You have the Nike Air. I'm probably gonna pop in these pink laces. And overall, man, you can get this shoe for, I don't know the resale price, but I'm guessing it's like a hundred and some odd bucks. This is a shoe you might want to, man. I know it's a time where you don't really wanna invest like that and I don't blame you. And let's be real, if you don't have the capital, I recommend you not to invest. But these are dope, man. These are dope. Like for sure, man, I'm keeping a personal pair on these and it's just an overall nice shoe right here. So I grabbed a couple sizes on those, grabbed uh, four, four of these right here, a couple gray school as well. Um, also grabbed, of course, my shoe here that people are just sleeping on, man. The stage hazes, man. Black toe, 
colorway. You got the suede, the crazy short suede. And overall, man, a good quality shoe. Again, Jordan 1s are not doing like what Jordan 1s were doing before, but it's a quality shoe. Quality shoe, personal pair on these too. So right here, if you need them, check your malls. They are sitting, so make sure you do that. Uh, it's funny, like I said, there was a shoe that was sitting last time I went to the mall and it was still sitting. It's, go it's going for like 250 on StockX and it's the Jordan DIY. And to me, these are trash. <laughs> these are so trash, but people are buying them. So I picked it up. Jordan 4s are what's in style. So you have the Jordan 4 DIY. So I grabbed those as well. Um, I grabbed a couple other shoes too. I grabbed um, the Del Sol um, Jordan 13s. And you know, a customer wanted these. So but got these as well. Customer wanted these. You have that Laker type colorway. And overall, man, Jordan 13s don't really sell like that, but some people like Jordan 13s. So those are the shoes that I picked up today. Now it's the time if you really want sneakers, they are just sitting at stores. It's not, it's not as hard to get sneakers now. It's not as hard to get sneakers now. You see me at the store and you see all these retro just sitting. So guys, man, that was the vlog for today. Really do appreciate you guys for watching this video, man. I know Jordan Brand pushed a lot of releases back, like a ton of releases, like the Jordan 1 Taxi. I'm really looking forward to that shoe. The Jordan 1 Taxi is gonna really show us if the Jordan 1 is dead. If that shoe right there sits, the Jordan 1s are dead. Because that shoe right there is just like the shattered backboards, golden yellow colorway. So we will see, man. So guys, man, I really do appreciate you guys. I'm gonna keep this thing going. Until the next time, Sniper Kicks out. Peace.